with your spirit. Almost like celebrating mass in the catacombs. As we begin this season of Lent, though I think we've been in Lent since COVID started, it's just got to uh, bring us to a point of peace through mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and, and in my words, what I have done, done and what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, 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 my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask for the blessed Mary, Mary Virgin, 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 all the angels, angels and saints, saints, and you, and my, you my brothers and sisters, pray for me to my God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. God have mercy. God have mercy. The Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. God have mercy. God have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Grant that we may begin with holy fasting, the campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up the battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with the weapons of self-restraint. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to your God. For God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps God will again relent and leave behind a blessing offerings and libations for your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of God weep and say, spare, O God, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for the land and took pity on the people. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O God, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O God, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O God, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against only you have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O God, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O God, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be, Be merciful, merciful, O God, for we have sinned.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the people of Corinth. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you, on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made Christ to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For God says, in an acceptable time, I heard you. And on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of our God. Thanks be to God. God be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from God in heaven. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. And then I say to you, they receive their reward. When you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So that your almsgiving may be in secret, God who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. When you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, pray to God in secret. God who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your God who is hidden. The God who sees what is hidden who will repay you. That's the good news of salvation. And the snow continues. I can't tell you how many tons of snow Willie has, pl- has shoveled. Uh, we begin this season of Lent, and as I said in the beginning, it, it almost seems like Lent started back in March with COVID, and uh, we continue. And uh, the reading from Joel today, the backdrop is that there was a plague of locusts. And so uh, what God is trying to say is, even through this pestilence, we can learn something. We can move forward. And so I think that's the message now with our pandemic, that in spite of this plague, uh, there's things we can learn about ourselves, about our church, about our world, about human life, and, and move forward with that. And our theme, or our image for this Lent is the jacaranda tree, which is a tree that blooms all many places in Africa. And ironically, it blooms during the dry season when everything else is dead. And a lot of things are dry now in our world, in our country, the pandemic, the division, capitalism, reigning. And so may we blossom. 
during this time, this dry time for so many and so much in our land. Let us pray that we might be that true blossom. first. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with his abundance of his grace these ashes which we'll put on our heads in penitence. O oh God, who desire not the death of sinners but their conversion, mercifully hear our prayers. And in your kindness, be pleased to bless these ashes, which we intend to receive upon our foreheads, that we who acknowledge we are but ashes and shall return to dust, may, through a steadfast observance of Lent, gain pardon for sins and newness of life after the likeness of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Responses, merciful God, hear our prayer. For our leaders in the church, that as ambassadors for Christ, they may fearlessly proclaim the need for repentance and reconciliation with God during the acceptable time of Lent. We pray. Merciful God, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, that through the grace of this holy season, they may be given clarity of heart and vision and be sustained with a willing spirit to work for justice and peace, we pray. 
Merciful God, hear our prayer. That we who accept the sign of ashes as a confession of our, of our mortality and of our faith in the life-giving power of God may make room for that divine life to grow by our hidden deeds of penance and mercy. We pray, merciful, merciful God, God, hear our prayer. For the sick, the forgotten, poor, the imprisoned and the lonely, that the softening of hearts may begin to loosen their bonds as love begins to flow to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Merciful God, hear our prayer. And for whom else shall we pray? For many friends of mine in Dallas, Texas, who are suffering from the power outages, let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, hear our prayer. Oh God, throughout the ages, you have made known to your people the way to true life, especially through your son Jesus. May this Lent be a time when we find that way and follow that way through Christ, our God. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, the goodness we have this wine and water, for this fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, come for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty One. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of our church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O God, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and be cleansed from our sins, and may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. God be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you and your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as the one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God is with us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. You need holy, O God, the fount of all holiness. Speak holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the true fall, so they may become for us the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How may we pray? That partaking the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the ministers. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Hail the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. Be married to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command is formed by divine teaching. We dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And Deliver us, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grace to grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our God be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit.
this sacrament receive, sustain us, O oh God, that our let the fast may be pleasing to you, and be for us the healing remedy in Christ our God. Amen. That be with you. And with your spirit. By your heads and pray for God's blessing. Pour out a spirit for function, O oh God, for those who bow before you in majesty. By your many, and by mercy, may they merit the rewards of promise to those who do penance. Christ, our God. Amen. Amen.